What is going on YouTubers? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with another motorcycle accessory. This one is, well, the one that left me speechless. Let's just say it like that to make it simple. I never in my life ever seen such a well-built phone mount for a motorcycle like the one from Tacform. They are based in Chicago, USA, and that's where they get designed and it is eventually built in China. Now, I wanna give a special thanks to Nick. He went ahead and sponsored my friend and myself, and I got this through my friend. Now, of course, I didn't pay for this review, and everything you guys will hear is 100% honesty, guys. This thing really, really surprised me. This is not your typical Amazon cheap $50 phone mount with wireless charging this one is a little bit more in price but believe me it is hundred percent worth it this is $99 now the mounts I have no idea how much they are I'm assuming between 30 40 dollars depending on which one you need and then this is the 20 millimeter ball well you can fit phones up to 7.2 inches it is IPX66 certified which means that you can splash water rain can fall into it and it won't damage it it is made out of CNC aluminum so CNC billet aluminum which is as we know is super super rugged um, also guys it comes with replaceable grips it has a single-handed operation we know that when you're riding a motorcycle a single-handed operation to remove your phone is really important I'm assuming it is 30 watts now it comes with two types of connection you can either connect it directly to your bike's battery which is the recommended way of doing it or if you have a USB port on your your bike you can plug it in but it has to be a 3 amp plug so if your bike has a 2.0 or less amperage it will not work so that's why they recommend using it connected directly uh, to the battery of your bike and it comes with a integrated fuse as well one amazing feature that I love and it's called vibration dampening it comes ready with it so it doesn't damage your phone's camera we know that a lot of phones have optical cameras uh, or optical image stabilization which is um, that feature that the camera actually moves on the inside and when you place those delicate phones on your bikes and that phone is vibrating constantly I've seen to where sometimes it does damage the camera so let's go ahead and pop this open all right and I have here my scale as well because I just want to show you guys how awesome this thing is. And I know you can't hold it. I mean, if you look at it physically like this, you might say, Jay, that looks like a standard Amazon phone mount. So here I have my scale, I have it in grams right now. So let's go ahead, there it is, zero. And let's place this on top. This thing is 332 grams guys here we have one of the wires this is the usb type a to the sae certified connection here on the other side and we also have the same thing for the battery which is the connection that most likely i will be doing so these are the uh, grips okay and it comes with this allen driver as well we get some zip ties and we have this 3.5 inch mount, or not mount, this is the socket arm that comes with some screws. You get the arm itself, okay? And uh, I think that's it. We get some manuals inside of there. And then these are the screws for the bracket that holds the uh, handlebar along with a 20 millimeter ball. So we can get it on there, guys and that's pretty much it so what i will do is run the wire already on my bike i won't show you how to do this because every bike is different but i will show you how to mount this on your handlebar much 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 later well guys we got the wire out of the way and i'm referring to the battery adapter that comes with the fuse i ran it all the way from the front side of the cf moto to the back and we have uh, three different adjustments on here to get the width adjustment 
which uh, you can do with these two screws. If you loosen up these two screws, which is a size number four, I think, Allen, or a three, but the tool comes with it, so you have to adjust the width based on your phone's case and your phone's model, which in my case, I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And then you also have to adjust the length. So the length are these two screws right here and you have presets. So if you look on the side, you have from 4.7 to 5.5, 5.6 to 6.3, 6.4, and up to 7.2 inches. Keep in mind that the upper part here, it is spring power, so it does stretch quite a bunch. I would say a good three inches approximately. And then uh, you also have the depth. You can adjust it with these screws right here. So you have one at the top, then you have two at the bottom. Getting here to the installation side, this is what I called elementary level. Super simple to do. So this is our bike stem right here and we have the brackets that hold the handlebar in place with two screws on each side. Just remove one screw and replace it with one of the ones that came included with your tack form phone holder. And once you do that, it'll look something like this. And that's when you grab your dual socket arm and place it on one side first and it is quite firm around there. And now we grab our phone holder and we simply place it here. But like I said, it is a super easy way of doing it, guys. And there we go. So this is our phone holder all set up and ready to go. This is where I ran the wire. Now something I wish that Tac Form uh, would have thought about is adding another cap like they did with the phone holder on this side. Do the same thing on the opposite side as well because now this wire is exposed and I don't have any caps for it. As you guys can see, this one comes with this cap. This side doesn't have it. And boom, now we have the mount working perfectly well. We set our phone here. And again, if you did everything correctly, your phone should just slide through here. And right there, you can see that it is in fact charging wirelessly to lock it in place. Like I said, move that rear knob uh, clockwise until you can't go any further guys it is just that simple let's not forget that with the dual socket arm we get these screws in which they go right beside where the little knob is here to get the screw tight so first you get it tightened on here and once you get that done there's a little hole here where you insert the screw and this is for anti-theft purposes so once you put the screw on here you can't make it loose to remove this part here i mean you could but that's going to take way too long for whoever's going to try to steal it to actually be successful and they came included again with a dual socket arm our next test here guys is to do a vibration test off the camera between the old mount that i had there before this is the amazon mount can be in mind that this exact same design comes with a wireless charger as well for about 54 dollars but if you get it without the wireless charger it's around 30 dollars and i think i mentioned that before but this is the cheaper Amazon uh, phone mount and then we're going to test the dampening the vibration dampening here which is this system we're going to test it and see if it makes a dramatic difference or not all right guys even though the camera has been partially blocked by the cheap Amazon phone holder I just want to do a comparison uh, with the uh, vibration dampening and without in this case we are doing without of course On this video now we are doing the vibration dampening test on the tag form adventure I 
have to admit that the CF Moto Ibex 800T, it is not the smoothest bike out there in the market. It does vibrate quite a bunch, especially um, on the handlebar side. It's not a crazy vibration, but I think it is enough uh, to kind of notice that it does vibrate with both of them. But I think I got a slightly better result here with the TAC Form Adventure. So this system does work. 24 hours later. Well guys, here to give you now the final conclusion on the TACFORM Adventure phone mount. We have traveled between coming from West Palm Beach to Daytona Beach and now to Daytona Beach or from Daytona Beach all the way up to Poinciana, Florida because it was my mom's birthday and I wanted to surprise her. So it's been about 380 miles approximately. This thing is absolutely awesome guys. I never had to adjust it even though I didn't have the little locking screws here for the adjusters on the sides and I'm referring to this arm I never had to readjust and never had any problems it coming loose this is the most amazing phone mount for your bike that you can get right now and there's no arguing about that it is super rugged super heavy duty this thing is amazing the things that I didn't like much well there were just little Nick picking things you always have to find something the first one is that well the wire uh, heading to the battery doesn't have this little cap okay to protect it from the elements that's number one uh, number two it doesn't have a auto shut off okay unless you hot wire it let's say I plan to hot wire it to this 12 volt socket then that way every time I turn off the bike it turns off because if not you know if you forget let's say to turn this off and well, you know exactly what's gonna happen, your battery's gonna drain. That was my second complaint, that it should have a auto off uh, feature since a lot of people will be wiring it directly to the battery. Uh, besides those two complaints, I have no other issues, guys. I like it, I think it's worth the money if you're looking for quality. And well, with this being said, we have already completed here the unboxing, assembly, and test of the Tech Form Adventure. Let me know down below what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share, and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you guys on my next one.